Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Today is Friday, November 1st. Damn. The first of the month. That bring back memories. The first of the month. Street dudes know what I'm talking about. It's the first, y'all. November 1st, 2024. Friday. Thank y'all for tuning in for another episode. To the hustlers out there that's still stupid enough to be out there in them streets, today the first, and it's Friday. Oh, it's about to roll. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you stupid enough to still be out here in these streets, today the first, and it's on a Friday. So it's about to roll. But them folks riding too. Sit your head down somewhere and get a job. Public service announcement. Now anyway. Growing up throughout our lives, right? Now speaking for me, but I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate. Growing up with my mom. I love, respected my mom. Now I got two moms, right? I got a biological mom who's still living. She's bedridden. She had a massive stroke like four years ago. She hadn't walked since. And then I have a mom that had me since I was three months old and raised me until she died November the 1st, 1995 at 3.30 in the morning. I never would get that 3.30 in the morning. She died of her own. But anyway, November the 1st, 1995, she died. She had me since I was three months old. She adopted me. She was my, what I consider, my mom. And being a human being, I've done stuff throughout life that I didn't tell her about because I, I know that she wouldn't approve of it. But I did it anyway. You, you know how we do. We do stuff that our parents don't want us to do. Some of y'all tell y'all parents everything. I wasn't one of them. I, I kept secrets from my parents. Certain things I didn't feel like I wanted her to know. So now I have a secret that she didn't know. Neither one of my moms, but especially my mom that's deceased. If she knew what I'm about to tell y'all in a minute, she will be devastated if she knew this secret I've been holding from her and a long time from my family, from my sisters, cousins, or whatever. They didn't know. They know now. But they didn't know. I had been keeping a secret from all my family. But especially from my mom. There's no way I could have let her know this or she probably would have disowned me. She would have been devastated. So I never told her. And like I said, now she's deceased. So I can't tell her. And if, if, if there's a way that people that's dead able to listen to the people that live in there, she finna find out. And she gonna be in heaven mad. But I'm about to tell y'all what it is. This secret that I kept from my mom. Because I knew she wouldn't approve of it. So I was in the grocery store a few minutes ago, right, grabbing some things. And what made me think about my mom and this, 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 what I'm saying right now, that if she knew this, well, let me, let me, let me rewind. The secret is not really a secret because she's deceased, right? If she was alive right now, and knew she would be devastated. Put it that way. Cause I never did. She never did find out. You feel what I'm saying? She never found out. She never knew. Because at the time that I did this thing that she would be devastated about, she wasn't living. It wasn't like this when she was alive. 
what I have done have been done since she's been dead. The thing that she will be ashamed of, she's been dead before. I wouldn't like this back then. So I was in the grocery store. And there was an elderly black woman, right? And she put, and the reason I'm thinking about this because she reminded me of my mom. You know, elderly black woman. Silver hair, smooth skin, short, and, and with that look on her face of, of knowledge, love, compassion. You know, the older black woman, the old black woman, like she about 75. Reminded me of my mom. And she said, young man. And I'm thinking, me? And I guess, yeah, compared to her, I am a young man. But she said, young man. Can you grab that off the uh, that shelf for me? I forgot what it was. She wanted me to grab a hand or something off the... You know, she's short. I'm tall. A lot of folks actually get stuff off the top shelf for them. That's what happens when you're tall. So I grabbed it, gave it to her, put it in a basket. I so sure appreciate that, young man. You gonna vote, ain't you? I said, yes, ma'am, I vote, I vote. And she say, we can't let that Trump get in. Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> 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 Look, I felt so awkward, but I couldn't disappoint this lady that reminded me of my grandma. I couldn't let her down. It ain't one of y'all, it ain't one of you uh, trolls, whatever. This was a sweet, beautiful black woman in her late 70s, maybe 80s. And she was so kind and sweet, I could feel her spirit. One of them older women, you could just, you could feel that old grandma spirit. Like Sister Tyson, the, when she was on Tyler Perry movie, or whatever the name of that movie. One of them type old ladies. Plenty of knowledge and wisdom, what have you. But no matter how much knowledge and wisdom you have, there's still a lot of things you don't know. You don't know everything. So there's still some things she don't know. But I wouldn't be finna be the one to tell her. I ain't finna go in, I wasn't finna do all that. So. She said, I know you're voting, ain't you? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I'm so glad. Cause we, we can't let that Trump get back in. She assumed cause I'm black, you know, I'm Democrat. Cause for so long, that's been the norm. A black person could assume that another black person is Democrat and be right about it. We're living in a new time right now that a lot of older, elderly black people ain't caught on to yet. So she assumed that it's still like it was in the old days. All black people are Democrats. So she thought it was safe to say that to me. And it was, because I ain't finna, I ain't, I ain't finna go into no political debate with my grandma. Which she wasn't my grandma, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I wasn't finna, I wasn't finna hurt her like that and disappoint her and be going back and forth. Now Trump, you should be voting for Trump. Kamala suck. I wasn't finna do that with her, right? So I had to swallow my pride. And I had to tell a little white lie. Just a little one. And I said, yeah, you right. <laughs> it may not be funny to y'all. I'm laughing to keep them crying. Keep that in mind. Don't let the laughter fool you. She said, we can't let Trump get back in office. And I said, yeah, you right. I'm like, dang it. And she only knew. She probably throw that whatever I just got up the shelf from. She'll throw it back at me. She only knew who she was talking to. I'm glad she too old and probably know how to work YouTube. Or she wouldn't even spoke to me if she knew who she was talking to. So she was like, yeah, because he trying to take our rights. He trying to take us back to slavery. He trying to cut my social security. He trying to get rid of my Medicaid. She just went to naming all the Democrat talking points. 
That man know he a racist. You know. He a racist. She said he want to take her social security. Her Medicaid. What does she say? She just she was just talking to old lady. I'm just sitting there, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I know what you said, yes, ma'am. I'm just being, you know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I know. Yes, ma'am. I know, right? Mm-hmm. And all the while in my mind, I'm saying Trump 2024. Can't tell her that though. And we just talking and having a conversation about the, you know, the world and the young girl. She, she talked about the young girl nowadays, how they be dressing and get you, get you a good one. Make sure you got you a good one and settle down and don't be out here. Because these women nowadays, the old lady, she was saying all this, right? We just talking. And it reminded me of my mom. Cause just like, why does old, old lady here telling me about, and I'm knowing that ain't nothing. I want to tell her you've been misinformed, old lady. Listen, old lady. Snap out of it. No, but, you know, I can't do the old lady like that. Snap out. You're under the spell. The Democrat been lying to you. They've been telling you that, that the Republican going to take your Social Security, your Medicaid and all that for 100 years. And they still ain't took it. Now, Social Security is in trouble. Probably broke, already broke, but it ain't got to do with the Republicans. It's all of them that screwed it up. The Democrats, too. So you probably right about you for the lose your Social Security, but they call just the Republicans only. It's all of them that screwed that money up. But I, I didn't tell her that. So I thought, if I told this lady right now how I really felt, she probably would be pissed. And that when I thought about it. My secret. My secret. That if my mom knew that's what's going on with me right now, she would be devastated. That I'm no longer a Democrat. I'm about to vote for that white man. That the older black folks can't stand that racist Trump, the one who they think gonna take their social security, they Medicaid, put them out on the streets, make them pick cotton, you name it. The one that the elderly black people think gonna do all that to him, and she find out I'm voting for, for him, that same guy, that they believe all these horrible things about. If my mom knew that right now, she would be devastated. I'm going to vote for him anyway. But she would be devastated. If she knew. Now, my sisters and family members, whatever, they've been, I have been keeping it a secret from them for a little while. Before I got this YouTube thing. I was like, I ain't no damn Republican. I don't vote for them. You know, I'm not going to vote for no damn Trump. But it finally came on out. I came out the closet with my sister Bridget and my cousin Trina and all of them. They know where I stand now. I feel free. It's like a weight have been lifted off my shoulders. I no longer have to be in the closet with who I am. This is who I am. I'm out in the open. I'm a black Trump supporter from the hood, from the streets. My sister still love me for all I know. We still, you know, my family still love me. But I got this strange feeling that if my mom knew, she would whoop my ass. My mom would whoop me like I stole something. If she knew, I'll, I'm trying to let that damn Trump get back in the office like that old lady just told me. That we can't do. She said we can't let that damn Trump get back in office if my mom knew that i'm about to do with that old lady that reminded me of her said we can't do my mom would be devastated i may be a great father great person just overall solid dude but if she knew that 
She probably will feel some type of way about that. About all my other good qualifications and characteristics. The fact that I'm going to let that damn Trump get back in office. And take her Social Security. Take her Medicaid. Make her pick cotton. And whatever else the Democrats then told her that she believed everything they say. If my mom was living. Or we would have to sit down and have a talk. Boy, come in here. Even though I'm big and... She still would say, boy, come in here. And you know what I do? I'll go in there. Sit your head down. You know what I'll do? Sit my head down. And she gonna say, you better not vote for that damn Trump. And I'm gonna say, okay, I ain't gonna vote for him. But you know how many other times I lied to my mom? One more, one more wouldn't hurt. But I'm gonna tell her what she wanna hear. You better not vote for if my mom was here right now and found out some kind of way. Boy, come in here and sit your ass down. I heard you finna vote for Trump. You finna try to get that damn Trump back in office. If my mom was here and we was having this conversation, she done told me to come in here and sit my ass down. I went in there and sat down and she said she heard Miss Elizabeth said she heard from Miss Cora that you said you gonna vote for Trump. Is that true? No, ma'am. <laughs> you know how we do uh, No ma'am I done lied to my mom before To keep him getting a whooping I'll lie again You know how your old folks say You ain't too old to get your ass whooped So therefore If my mom were here today And asked me am I voting for Trump No I'm not I'm with her November the 5th Trump. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.